video and today I'm with my old friend Robert if you guys know we did the Hampton the good time and the video is still in there before on my YouTube so today we do Pokemon visual companion and we were going to talk about some video we we'll talk about some shows about it and stuff isn't it right my friend right you are Mike <clears throat> well I'm just gonna do my favorite critiques about my favorite parts of of, of the seasons uh, through the rank through the arcs and ranks and which ones I like best. Okay, so I I used to watch Good Time and Pokemon, but my favorite one was I saw the movie of it on Netflix. You know, we watched that together, and I'm telling you that movie was actually was good. How the like it was too good. It was like the graphic did way better shows you know what I mean but you know the truth thing is I find out that it, when I watched the Y you know the Pokemon XYZ black and white sun and moon and all that good stuff it's been so long have I know them ever since they keep making more and sometimes you just forget the memories and you know what I mean but let's enough of us talking let's get this part started alrighty let's make history all right, let's go in. But it would be no spoiling alerts, so we just let you know what's going on. So, who you want? And yeah, and forgive us in the background. Some people will come in, there, so forgive us. Yeah. So go ahead. Okay. Well, I want to start th start things off with season one with with the pride of Pallet Town, Ash and his and his Pokemon partner with Pikachu. Which is which is his good friend of all time. And some people keep trying to figure out if he's a male or a female. You know what happened? They still he keeps saying he's a Pokemon. Well, you could tell that Pikachu is a male or a female by the look of their tails. Yeah, if it's like a straight line like oh. a straight line like that, it's a fem it's a male. If a if a Pikachu has a heart, it, it, it it's a female. Yeah, because I got when I was playing on Go, I got the female version of Pikachu. Yeah, we got get rid of that. And of course, Ash has went went made, went through so many competitions. They went they went to the Kent and Unova and Kalos leagues, but then but didn't manage to win any of them. Yeah. But. He did made it to runner-up in the Carlos League, which is a sign that he's all this one step close to becoming um, a great a great trainer. Yeah, that's true. He watching Dragon Ball Z because some people win sometimes in tournaments and lose way back. It was just let you know, and um, I probably forgot to tell you that if there's any music you guys hearing, we just tell them we don't own this copyright music. We just give those you know, the right for owners. And we just got permission from the, we got permission from the second and Charles, so, so we could do all this. So, in any case, Robert was trying to say about Pokemon with Ash, and he had what? He has some interesting pokes. Yeah, like, like this one, my favorite guy. This one right here is my favorite one. Halucha. That's kind of my mom's favorite too, because. Halucha is, is based on uh, is somewhat based on the Mexican wrestler. Yeah, that's true. Like in WWE, like Rey Mysterio or something, because that's how you know wrestling wrestlers have masks. Oh, Charmander, aka known as Charizard. That he's my favorite guy. I like how he was turned into a, like a the black and blue one. That was my favorite one. But yet, Ash never required a Mega Stone for it. But unless it is a good Pokemon. Mm. But the reason why he, 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 he lost the, the the Kanto League is because is because his Charizard never listened to him. Oh yeah, because they were being annoying to him and stuff. And and it developed a big ego. Oh like ultra egos, huh? Oh look at all these good stuff, man. These are the these are the Pokemon that Ash caught from the various regions from it from Kanto up to Galar. Especially Squirtle, my dude, he's my he's my he's my homie. You go ahead. He's he's the leader of the, the, the Squirtle squad. Yeah, of the water. He's the water Pokémon. <gasps> Bulbasaur. 
my favorite guy too. I always like those three. Did you know those three was in the first one in the um, Super Smash Bros. Brawl? Yeah. Right before, right before Lucario, which is uh, Rilo, and uh, Rio Lu. Rio Lu. Yeah, I always get that a little confused on that too. But Lucario is my dude. And did you know that Lucario was first before Great Ninja was in Super Smash Bros. on the Wii U? That's the true facts. And oh my god, that's that's Snorlax. Snorlax was um if you guys know fun fact about him, let me tell you more about him. So Snorlax, not only he was good in, in Pokemon, but when you every time you played Super Smash Bros, when you pick up the Pokemon ball, you know hit, that appeared in there, when you hit it, he's in the uh Super Smash Bros. Brawl. That's his appearance in the game too. Okay, these two, the the, the people who made the, this book, need to get their facts checked because Rowlet hasn't hasn't evolved during during the Sun and Moon arcs, and and Lycanroc is in its dust form, not not in its midday form. Yeah, that that really got me confused too on that. I was like, is that really true? Because they they need to fix that. But this is just a fourth edition. And yeah. Well, I don't know. Yeah, sometimes they they need they don't have like a little time or something. But I don't I understand how that feel. But I do give them. I better give them at least a credit, a four star review, because it's good. There were some minor flaws, but I do enjoy this book. Yeah, I would give that for four and a half. Four and a half. Mm, four and a half star. And also the the. the Ash, the pride of Pallet Town. Wait. Oh, I saw some. I saw the Pokemon balls right quick. Yeah, there are. There are. There's specialties. And yep, it, special devices for catching the pokes. Especially that one looks like they in the camo. That's a safari ball. Yeah, but I, you know sometimes some of these balls can be like in the um, real life ones, like camo ones and all that good stuff. Oh, here's Jigglypuff. That's a wiggly tough. Yeah, but he, he's part of the Jigglypuff, you know. He's part of the, the family. And that's Nurse Joy. Everybody loves her sometimes. What about Jenny? Don't get me wrong. Jenny, she's, she's all right. She's, she's sometimes good. I wonder why there's so many Jennies and Joys in all the regions. That's a, that's a good question. I don't know either. I was thinking about that, too. And, and each sister from each family look kind of look the same. Yeah. Oh, God. Here he is. Oh, yeah, that's right. The Yawn Mask episode. Yeah, that one's just too crazy, dude. That mask possessed him. Yeah. Plus, I do find Yawn Mask is is a very interesting Pokemon, despite the fa the creepy facts from, from the game index. Oh, yeah. I still kind of... In my critique, Yawn Mask is kind of cool. They evolve into Cofagrigus. Mm, but sometimes masks... Can yeah, be cool, so bad. depending you on know, how it, they the mask are. is cool and all, but you just don't know if they are getting you know possessed. Because sometimes masks can be good, sometimes they're not. Well, don't even well don't even get me well. Speaking of ghosts and spirits, don't get me started with the king of Pokelantis. And in, in case you're wondering, the Pokelantis thing is right here. It's something that Ash and his friends discovered during the Picanto Battle Frontier series and are. Uh, well, Ash got possessed by the ancient king of Pokelantis, and that was a very scary episode. Yeah, I was, uh, uh, uh I was, uh, mm -mm, that's why I didn't want to watch that episode. I knew there would be something in right. At least they stopped him. Uh, there's so oh, many. yeah, Joy and Jenny. Yep, you know. I, just, I think I like Joy better than Jenny. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, it's my opinion. You know, because Jenny, Jenny's all good. I know she's a good officer, but Joy, Nurse Joy, she's a what, respectful lady. What? May, what? Yeah. Never mind. I'll, I'll drop it. I don't mean to pry. No, no, no. It's all right. Yeah, go ahead, man. All right. Let me get to his companions. Yeah, and uh, leave down comments like, what's your favorite Pokemon episodes and what's your favorite series of it? Mm -hmm. Mine's is the, um, the Sun and Moon and the XYZ. What's yours? 
Mm-hmm. What's your favorite episodes? And what's your favorite um series of the Pokemon? Well, if I have to, well, there is the black and white with the Meloetta arc, and as well as the the Unova League arc, the Team Plasma arc, and then there was there then there was the Mega Evolution specials, mm. and with the X Y Z with Team Flare. And then, and then there's the Ultra Adventures with 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 Lusamine and 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 many other adventures, especially with Team Rocket's uh, elite group, the Matori Matrix. Mm. Uh. And and then there's the World Coronation Series arc, the one with Leon and all the other champions. Yeah. Not to mention. There was that Eternatus arc, and that the two-part episode with Dawn's return. Mm. Actually, that those two-part episodes marks the second time Dawn returned. The first one was the Meloetta arc. Oh, really? You know, the one the one thing I like in the um the only thing I like in there most of the time is how anytime the Pokemon, anytime I seen them try to get my boy Pikachu, my homie, I love that dude ever since. Team Rocket always fails every time. Oh, Professor Oak. The Professor Oak. The old man that gives away on the three starter Pokemon to on only one of them and to each trainer. Mm -hmm. if e either Bulbasaur, Charmander, or Squirtle. Yeah. But the trainer can only choose one. Yeah, that's it's tough, though. That's tough to choose one of those three. For the bottom of my heart, I love three. Uh, three of them are my favorite. But top and middle of my heart, I love them still. But if I choose one, I'd rather choose the... I'd rather choose the leaf than the fire. What would you choose? Well... Mm. I throw myself on the mercy of the court. Mm. Because that's kind of a tough decision, too. Yeah. But... But Charizard is kind of cool. Does it? Does um Bulbasaur have like a, a Max Stone or something too, or is it just Charmander? Um, Venusaur and Blastoise can Mega Evolve too. Okay, that's good. Oh, uh, here's Misty, the the first of Ash's traveling companions, who is the who is the one of the Cerulean City gym leaders, and has bug trauma. And the one who says to Ash, a kid. But she's a kid, too. Yeah, that was like, he keeps saying to him, quit being acting like a kid or stuff like that. But this kid is afraid of bugs. Yeah, we get, you know. Bug types. Well, but what? A, but how would she react if she were, if she were to saw water and bug type Pokemon? Like, like Sir Skid? Jupiter, Araquanid, Wimpod, or Golisopod. She would probably like water, but she'd still probably be afraid of bugs. No matter what type of bug it is, she would probably be afraid of it still. Like, not to mention. Well, how could a trainer be afraid of a Pokemon that has both water and bug? I don't know. That's a good question. Here's Brock. The lover's boy, and Ash's third traveling companion. And a little bit of show off. And back. a rock type stuff. Not to mention, he do have an old friend of his. Every time he tries to oppress a girl, he gets hit every time. But most, but mostly Joys and Jennies, and and Brock either gets pulled away on the ear, or gets poison jet by Krogunk. Yeah, because he he tried he going a little bit too far. And according to my mom, he's not weird. He's just goofy and greedy. Like, well, he is he is goofy like Goofy from Disney, but he also be greedy like Possessed from Jim. If you guys don't know who those two are, if you guys don't know who's Possessed, Possessed is the Misfits leader from um, Jim and Holograms. It's a really good um, show. I've seen them a good time. The music I like there is really good. Mike. This is Pokemon we're talking about, not Gem the Holograms. I, I'm just making a, I'm just making an expression. I do like a little simile. 
I know, I know. Gosh, see, he, but, he, see, but Brock see, is not like possessed. He's not. He's not spoiled and rich. He's kind. I know. That's, that's, I was just doing an expression, man. It's called sarcasm. Lord, or Haney. Oh, here's the good town, the good old Pallet Town. This one is a good one. It's like a so Pallet Town throughout the Ash journeys. Pallet Town remains stable, the center of of his adventures. Which is a good place, though. Not gonna lie. There's also that that uh, that town in, in Johto, New Bark Town, where where the early morning winds are a sign of new adventures or something like that or something similar. Mm, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. oh, here's Gary Oak. That's his own rival Oak. and friend. And I think that's Oak's. Oh, that's Professor Oak's son or his own grandson. Uh, grandson. So that means he. So means um. And there. The oh, bull, that's his starter. That's a uh, needle queen. That, I'm referring to that. Yeah. Uh, 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 that's Blasto. That's Blasto. Blastoise, yeah. Blastoise. The, it, that's the Squirtle that that he got from Professor Oaks. Yeah, that's the one. Oh uh, yeah, that was crazy because he, he when they got forms, they can turn into bigger ones. It's like you absorb their, if you absorb their um, different ones, then you become more. Yeah. Oh yeah, Cerulean City is famous for its water types. Yeah, but they were good series. There was a the good water stuff. And Misty Sisters are kind of like s swimmers and and kind of like sh show casts. Mm, okay. No wait, what's that other word? Uh, showstopper? It's a, it's a show one, right? Well, they do perform with water types. Oh. I think I know what you're talking about, but it's getting to my head, too. And this is Ash's defeat. Oh, yeah. Don't get me started. You know, some people keep saying things about him. Like, he... No matter how... No matter what adventure he keep doing, he still kept his own age. And, of course, we, we, we all know at... Oh no, Ash was a rookie trainer and he got his first two badges out of pity. Yeah. But let's take it easy on him. He was just a rook. Yeah, everybody's a rookie. And not like the man. Like 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 How come there's a time limit? Mm, I don't know. But in any case, I'll, I'll fix it. Yeah, but... Oh, that's right. Kanto's main legendary Pokemon. Oh, yeah. A Crino. Or motorist Sabatos, that's my favorite dude. I love that guy. And Mewtwo. You know Mewtwo is in Super Smash Bros. too. Yeah, except Mewtwo, unlike any other legendary Pokemon, it was created by Team Rocket scientists, and their boss wanted it for the, his e evil purpose. Yeah. Remember the first movie and the, and the prequel? I mean, yeah. sequel? Yeah, I've seen that. It was crazy. How they gotta do that to my boy? And of course, few, and and I'm not sure if this needs to be brought up later on, but Articuno, Moltres, and Zapdos have their other regional forms. Remember the cra crown. T yeah, now we're back. Okay, so and there's the beautiful Professor Ivy, the one of the professor's stylish woman. Her real name is actually Fel Felina, Felia, you know, Felina Ivy. Not only does that her last name, but you know she, she does have some crazy history with Brock and... And she's really good with that Gyarados. Don't, no offense about Gyarados. He's, he's a good one. He's one of the, one of the, one of the good ones of the water type of Pokemons. And, and Brock's met, met the, met his match. Yeah. He decided to return, return to Palatown some point after a Ash won, won, won the Orange League. Yeah, he said, don't mention the name. Now I get it why he keeps saying, don't mention the names and he, stuff. He probably got turned down. By her. Just like everything happened to us, I know. Yeah, let's go see. Um, yeah, and then there's Tracy. He's a sketch Pokemon watcher. Yeah, he's a good art. He's a... Um, Good artist. Oh, uh, at least bring up the team rockets. 
now we're going into Johto. I hate those guys. I hate those Team Rock. I really do. Oh yeah. Well, in the games, Team Rocket did it did some operations in Kanto and Johto, but in the anime, there they did operations in Sinnoh, Unova, and Alola. Yeah, and here's a little fun fact: they actually doing another Pokemon series, and we can't wait. I can't wait to see it though. But 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 in his point of view, it's not going to be the same with the Out Ash. Yeah, it is, because I've been a big fan of him ever since. And I heard the Team Rocket's retiring in there. There's gonna be a new one. Hey, at least it's gonna be a good one. Well, if you really want to know, my favorite city in, in Johto is kind of like Egritik City. Mm. If I if I'm just being honest. I, I I respect your honest. Oh yeah, and my and also my favorite gym leader there is is Claire. Mm. Okay. The dragon type specialist besides Lance. In the games, her and Lance are cousins. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's go check the others. Region number three, Go Hoenn. No, wait. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's Gary's first defeat. Oh, yeah, because, you know, Chow, uh, you know, Chow Star, he's a good one. He got the good power. And and Ash's Charizard even lost to that Blaziken despite the type advantage. That's the one I was watching before. That's the victory tournament final eight. This is the one I like. That's the Silver Conference. Yes, this is it. This is the one because I remember these two were facing each other again, and you know that was their first face off. Yeah, and I remember that one time Ash did beat him again with his own different Pokemon that he that uh, Pikachu faced. This trainer is from the Hoenn region because he has a Blaziken as a starter. He raised it from the Torchic. Yeah, what's his name again? I'm trying to figure out. Not, not the, the Harrison. Harrison. And this one again? That's a Blaziken. Blaziken. That's what it is. Because Blaziken did defeat him, and they became friends again. You know, they became friends. And they they would uh, face the Team Rocket because Team Rocket tried to kidnap Pikachu. Because they uh, they use Squirtle's form of the uh, Ho, look Ho Oh and Lugia, Johto's main legendary Pokemon. The greatest one, one of the greatest Johto's. And there's the legendary beasts, and then there's Celebi. Oh, oh yeah, Celebi! I love this character. She's a uh, this one is a cute one. They say Celebi uh, travels through, uh, uh, through time through the f forest as guardian. Mm. And whenever it appears, trees and grass start to flourish. Interesting. Just like Tapu Bulu, except for the time travel. Interesting. Mm. The next, here's Hoenn. Hoenn, yep, here's Hoenn. Oh, yeah, there's the, the there's another the music. If we're gonna, this is gonna, um, this is gonna be all. I know it's gonna be some little bit copyright, but it's not really gonna be because it's all they're right for owners. Next, that there, then there's May and Max, the son, the son and daughter of Norman. Okay. Norman, the normal type specialist gym leader of Petalburg City. Okay. Then there's Professor Birch, who's, who studies at Pokemon Habitats. Yeah. Almost sound like Butch. Oh, yeah. Team, and, team Magma. And team, Aqua. Who, uh, between you, who you rather team with? The Team Magma or Team Aqua? Why you ask that question? I'm just, I'm just asking. Who would you rather team with? Well... To be fair, I think Cohen needs more land. So you ride a team with uh... magma. Oh, okay. Uh, of course, that that would also mean co cooperating with with with, with the uh, cooperating with with the with the criminal organization terrorist. Mm, don't get me started, because that one was just crazy seeing them facing each other. I uh, what I with the two part episode? Yeah, it was just, uh, 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 Drew and Harley. 
Maze rivals. Yeah, they've been they've been maze rivals ever since. They like brothers and sisters type. Except Harley is the more has more antagonistic nature. Mm. Yeah, so I don't know. Now we're back, okay. So we are here now in the Pokemon contest and coordinators. The coordinators of Sinnoh and Hoenn. Yep, and they're the one of the one of the goodness. One of the greatness. They did their best though, because you know sometimes it ain't easy. My favorites. And I'm gonna do the finger touch. Dawn. Zoe. And May. And Soledad. And what else? Drew. And Jesse was in one of the coordinators? In disguise. Oh, of course. And you can't do you can't do our foul team rocket, the master of disguise. I guess I can do Nando. Nando's not half bad. Oh blame you. Don't yawn, it's contagious. My bad, my bad. I don't blame you. He's he, 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 that one's a, he was And then right. there's the Hoenn League, where yeah, Ash defeats his late rivals Katie and Morrison and Tyson. For the championship and he did. Yeah. However, a couple of generations later, one of his rivals in Kalos is actually from Hoenn, Sawyer, mm. that Sceptile trainer. Yeah, but he was so close winning the championship while right after Tyson beat him. Above all the, the, those rivals from Ho Hoenn, Sawyer is kind of my favorite. Mm. You ever watched Blade Blade? Well, I've watched Blade Blade before. It was actually similar to me. It's actually quite similar to Pokemon to me for some reason. And there's the legendary Pokemon from Hoenn. <gasps> oh my god, Kyorg. Kyogre. Kyogre. And oh god, Groudon, Groudon. The that one that is based off of Godzilla. <laughs> yeah, everybody keeps saying about that. There's Lathias and Lathias. Everyone keeps saying. You mean you've been hearing the rumors on the web? Most of the little, little bit of the time. You know these two actually like related. Yes. But it's just different. I, I know. I I know they're related. I saw the fifth movie. Yeah, that was like when they do. Whoa, whoa, like they they are related. And then there's Rayquaza and the, oh, and the legendary Titans. That, that that guy, that's the one who was in the. He was a crazy one. I played the Super Smash Bros. He was in the, the um, game. What else did we expect from dragons? Well, there's so many. There's some good dragons. Don't get me wrong about the dragons. I love dragons, but I didn't realize that he was in the in the games of the crossover games. And of course, the legendary Titans. Reggie Rock, Reg Ice, and Reggie Steel. They're like in the in the in the family and like in the part of the, the elements together. Reggie Rock is from the Stone Age. So, Reg Ice is from the Ice Age, and Reggie Steel is for, uh, from the Iron Age. Oh, so we got Rock, Iron, and, and Ice. Yeah. Their creator, Reggie Gigas, is, fr is fr uh, from Sinnoh, and according to legend, Reggie Gigas towed continents or the, or the regions by using ropes, mm -hmm. and, and it created Reggie Rock, Regice, and Reggie Steel, along with the other two Reggies that are found in Galar, Reggie Eleki, I mean, I mean Reggie Eleki, and Reggie Drago. Of course, when... And of course, we all played the Crown Tundra mm -hmm. because we bought that from the Nintendo Switch store. Oh yeah. And and, and I know with the split decision ruins, we can only choose one, one, which is tough. And not to mention, when I saw that, you gotta choose one. And I was like, okay. You know, one more thing, a little fun fact that what you know, we cause they are, what cause are. It is one of the greatest ones. It's like you see him go higher, and you're like he's, he's like he was in the water type. You know the little water dragons. Yeah. I like I like how he did that before. It was crazy. But don't worry, I will still do the WWE 2K23. So stay tuned on that. We still doing that. I'm still doing that. Then oh yeah, there's Deoxys. Oh. Rick Quaza's equal. 
Yeah, because I know that, that, yeah, this one was a good one. I didn't even know Deoxys was a legendary. I thought it was mythical. I thought it was too, but I found out she was a legendary too. It was crazy on me too. Especially. And then there's the one that is rumored said to grant witches, sure. wishes. Jiraji. Like a genie type thing. Except it's, it's, except it's category as wish, not gin. I know, that's crazy too. I was like, he's, he, this one grants wishes. Like, that's crazy. There's a lot of them. You can take a temporary pause. All right, we'll be back for right, this one. We're back, we're guys. Back, so, holla. And this time we're doing it in Shoni. You know? That's how you say it? Sino. 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 Oh, I know it's Shinoi. Shinoi from the. Uh... And of so. course, Kanto, Johto, Hoenn, and Sino are are kind of connected in some way. Yeah, it's like the, how they say it like that, though. No offense. Like, we heard the names, they kind of was similar for some reason. If you but Hoenn doesn't end with the O. Part. Yeah, it sounds like a different way. But it's kind of similar, but way different how they say it, how the words are. No offense. Let's go this one. And of course, the Sinnoh region is where Dawn is from. Yep. Everybody was born, some of the people born for this one. And of course, her Piplup still hasn't evolved. Which is still not, I need her, I need that to be for real. Neither did Baneri. The only one that's been good is these guys. Except Buzzle. Buzzle was traded for a Ash's Apon. Oh. Back before before Apon evolved into Ambipom. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Of course, Ambipom was encountered by a a a encountered Ash dur during the Battlefrontier arc after the, the episode with the King of Pokelantis. Interesting. Hmm, that makes sense. Dawn wanted to follow in the footsteps of her mom to become um, top coordinator. But it didn't work out well. Well, she's getting there. Of course, when she when she returned to in, in, in the Journey series, according to Bulbapedia, she came back as a, as a veteran uh, uh, coordinator. No, no. Uh, despite the fact that she's not old. Interesting. You can't judge the age, man. Don't judge it. Here's Professor Rowan. Who studies Pokemon evolution. And then there's Zoe, Dawn's main rival, the tomboy. Oh yeah, you know how that you know how that goes. That was crazy. It was crazy to get to that. Guess you can say she's an anime version of 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 that of that princess of Brave. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's true. That's the truth. Not gonna lie, it looks like a ginger. Cause your hair is red. And then there, and then there's her partner Glammeow. And she's got an interesting party for a coordinator, especially with that Gallade. Exactly. Like, ever, look at this. She got most of them involved, except Leafeon. Well, I think Leafeon was captured in the wild, and Glammeow. I guess she didn't want it to evolve into a per ugly. Oh yeah. Every you ever seen that one? I saw the Per Ugly episode. Uh, Matter of fact, the Per Ugly did belong to a Team Galactic commander, Mars. Here's Kenny, Don's childhood friend, and he had a Piplup as his starter. Oh, so that's the one that's involved with the good now. And then there's Nando. Yep, he got some good ones. Don't get me wrong; these things are good. That next there's Paul, Paul. Chimchar's original trainer before he abandoned it during the during the Hard Home City tag battle contest arc. Yeah, that was a that was a terrible. I can't and believe he did that. Tor Paul's Torterra was his first starter Pokemon. Mm. And he Paul went went to the Kanto Johto. Ho Hoenn leagues, but they he but he didn't win any of them. Yeah, he lost so many times. He gets, he gets a little sick of it losing. And there were some areas in some regions where he caught Weavile and and, and Honchcrow back when it was a Murkrow. Ah. Oh. And Mag and there's his Magmar. 
Chimchar's replacement. Interesting. Hmm. And and of course Paul's uh, Electivire back when it was an Elekid it had a rivalry with with Pikachu and, and Chimchar. Oh, because of electricity. Because they're part of the element of the electric oh, and fire. But 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 Elekid, Electabuzz, and Electivire, next Magby and Magmar and Magmortar, they're all rivals. Mm. Not Electivire and Inferni. Okay, whatever. This is a team got Galactic. A criminal organization that tr that is trying to uncover the legends of Sinnoh space time, and and to rec and to create a better world using using Dialga and Palkia. Yeah, like all this Com Commander Saturn, Commander Cyrus. Cyrus, the Team Galactic boss. Yep, and the Commander Mars. Like everything is like, everything is look like in the solar solar eclipse. And, oh yeah, there's Paul's older brother Reggie. Oh yeah, he was a good one. Before he became a trainer and before he got his turd twig, Reggie became somewhat of an inspiration to Paul, and he won so many trophies. Yeah. The only thing he was missing is the Battle Frontier Brave symbol. Uh, I think he lost that one, didn't he? He lost to Brandon, and that's what caused Paul's cr cruelty to spark. His, so the reason why Paul is so obsessed with strength, potential, and power is because of what happened to Reggie. Oh, uh, because his brother lost to one, one tournament. It's just one tournament. It's like, how, how wrong are the ghosts? And then there's Sinnoh's most wanted mm -hmm. Pokemon hunter, Hunter, hunter J. J. The good old tricks of the trade. He's a... She's. Oh, she? I thought it was a he, because, you know, every time I look at the face, it's like, you can't even see the face. You can't see the eye or something. But until she's, until she really reveal her eye. But that, she's a dangerous woman. I, she's a dangerous woman, I can give you that. Of course, during the uh, during team, the final battle with Team Galactic before the Arceus Chronicles, mm. she met her end thanks to Mesprit and Yuxi's future sight. Thanks to who? The future sight caught hit the hit his, her ship's engines mm. and it fall into that portal whirlpool. Mm. Interesting. And and it caused her her end and, and her ship crew. And I feel bad for the Salamans. Uh, don't get me wrong. You know, here's the inside leaks. And there's some gems on here. Yep. Yeah, there's so many around here. My, I think my favorite gym leader would be Fantina because she's, because uh, she's beautiful and just, and aside the fact that she specializes in ghost types. Mm. You know, Ash is always my f friend. I if I were every team, if I were every friends with someone, Ash would be there, so his friends would be. Of course, the Hard Home Tag Battle Tournament arc. Oh, that one was crazy over that one. Here's the rules of it. Look at the rules. The rules is it's really intense. Each trainer battles with the same partner for the entire tournament, so you can't choose. You can't switch. The tournament yep. is a tag battle event with each trainer using one Pokemon per battle. And there, there is no, no substitutions, substitutions and no, no time, time limits during, during battles. If I actually like, team with someone, one, I, I understand be the entire time. Don't know who to team with. Of course, I would choose cho I would choose the Sinnoh Region's tough cookie, Cynthia. Mm, I would choose Ash. Yeah, so here He's is the what Wallace Cup. Cup. Of course, it's hosted by Hoenn's champion, Wallace. He, Of course, he was champion during the time before he lost to Steven, which, of course, I think that's somewhere took part during the XYZ series. I mean, not the XYZ series, just the XY. Mm, that makes sense. And somewhere along the way, Wallace lost to Steven and forced to give the title to Steven. Yeah, not to mention, when I saw the tournament of these contests, is crazy. Of course, Wallace specializes in water types, just like Misty. Interesting. And of course, unlike Misty, he's not afraid of bug types. Yeah, that's crazy. 
Here it is. The evolutions. Yeah, the way the animators keep adding some evolution phenomena is crazy. Yeah, but I don't blame them. But of course, they're interesting nonetheless. I'm not saying it's crazy as in bad. Yeah, it is good because they are. All right, now here's these side Mis by side and stuff. And mysteries from space. Mm. They do say Clefairy in its pre evolved form and its evolved form came from space, along with Lunatone and Solrock, Yoxus, and then there's Starmie. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, there's also LGM, BEM, and probably NK and Malamar, if Malamar is a Pokemon from space. Interesting. And then there's Minior. Mm, here's the Shino. The Sinnoh the legendary Shino. Pokemon. Yeah, we already got Ali Azil. Azel. Azel. Cresselia. Dialga. Mm -hmm. One Dialga. of Sinnoh's main legendary Pokemon. Mm. And here's Garantina, Garantina. The third member of the creation qua uh, uh, of trio. Mm. I, I was almost about to say Quadro because of Arceus. No offense, that almost got me too. And here comes the other one. Heatran, Mesprit, Palkia, Regigigas. And anyone else? And here's the... <gasps> you... you, you Yuxi, Arceus, Darkrai, Manaphy. Oh, Darkrai was crazy on that. I heard about him. Dark Ride. We all saw the tenth movie and t and that trainer that owned the Dark Ride. Yeah, that was crazy. Here's oh, that's Fiona, Fiona and Shaman. Fiona. Of course, the Shaman we saw from the eleventh movie was as an all really gratitude. Mm. Be it was it kept having this attitude and it and uh, and it's crazy. and it's, and it has a different personality than all the other Shamans. Don't get me wrong about that. Oh, dig these. We can stop there, Mike. Yep, and we just gonna tell y'all this is just crazy. Like I don't blame you. Pokemon's my life, and I got to learn some new stuff now about them. I just been a while, you know, been a while watching them. So of course you found that that mouth through me. Yeah. So we just gonna let you know. We gonna let you stop. We gonna stop here. And let you guys go, you know, do what you guys do and stuff like that. So, um, if you guys are enjoying this video, we want you guys to hit the like button, subscribe to our subscribe to my channel. You guys are new and turn notifications. This is my first time doing it when I was a store. Got and of course, we don't own we don't own this book. I just want to give give my I just want to give my critiques. I mean our critiques to the mm -hmm. show mm -hmm. and our opinions about the different seasons yeah and and there's make sure there would be no copyright music and this is go by themselves and all so i'll be back for the um 2k23 so stay tuned on that i almost about to be finished with that season you know slot one and then you know continue watch playing the different games we gotta go anyway so yeah. And I hope you enjoy our commentary, even though that it might sound silly. Yeah, well, we gotta go. Holla, guys! My kingdom, I'm the knight of the wind. Yeah.